Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. It's been a while since I've done a video and I've been thinking about what I'd like to do it on and land navigation came to mind. Land navigation is an essential skill that all wilderness backpackers need to know and understand. I'm going to be doing a series of videos on land navigation and today's video will cover the topo map. It'll be a basic overview of what you need to look for when you're looking at a topo map before you go out on your wilderness uh, backpacking trip. So stand by while I give you an up close view of a topo map. Uh, welcome back. Here you have a uh, USGS topographical map. This one here is of the Siskiyou National Forest and that's located in Oregon. Now topographical maps are graphical representations. They're a picture in essence of terrain that you're going to encounter when you're in a wilderness area. It gives you a lot of information and it's important that you research the area before you go using a topographical map. And it's very important that you have a topographical map with you when you're out in a wilderness area. So the basic overview of a topo map. In the upper right hand corner, you have the name of the map. This map here is the uh, Tin Cup Peak Quadrangle. And topographical maps are named after prominent terrain features associated with the map. And in this case, the uh, terrain feature here is the Tin Cup Peak. And you can see it right there, almost in the center of the map there. All right. The most, in my opinion, important part of a topographical map is going to be on the bottom, and that is the legend. The legend gives you all the information that you're going to need to understand a topographical map and to navigate while using a topo map. On the right, you have uh, the area here where it describes what the symbols are on the map. So, for example, the, uh, here's the uh, trail, and the trail is designated with a dashed line. And if you look here, you can see a dashed line there, which is a trail. So the symbols on the map will be explained in the legend. Moving on. The uh, next thing you're going to look at is the scale. The scale here is 1 to 24,000. And what that means is that 1 inch equals 24,000 inches. In the scale, you also have the measurements in reference to distance on the map. So if you want to know the distance between this point and this point, we'll take a piece of paper and uh, mark it out and you can bring it down here to the scale and you can determine the distance on the topo map utilizing the scale. It'll break it down to miles, feet, kilometers, or meters. Next, we're going to have the contour interval. Now, the contour interval is very important because it tells you what the interval rate or the distance between the contour lines are going to be. So the contour interval for this map is 40 feet. So what are contour lines? Well, contour lines are all these little squiggly lines on the map here. The darkened lines are called the contour index lines. And the contour index lines will have an elevation associated with them. So that particular contour index line here, the elevation there is 2,200 feet. So if you want to know the distance or the elevation from that contour line to that one right there, we're going to count out one, two, three, four. 
Oh, well, we forgot one there. It's actually five there because there's a contour line there. So it's five. So it's five times 40 is 200. And 200 plus 2200 is 2400. And if you see here, this is a dark line here. It's a contour line. If you bring it on over here, you notice that it's 2400 feet there. So that's what a contour line is and the contour interval. Knowing that helps you determine the elevation you're going to be climbing in any given area utilizing the topo map. Next, magnetic declination. Now I'm going to give a more in-depth class on this, but just understand you have three north. You have the grid north, which is the map itself here, the true north, the actual north, and the MN, which is the magnetic north. The magnetic north is your compass reading. And on a declination diagram, you have a declination, and on this particular top of the map, it's 17 and a half degrees. What that means is you're going to have to add or subtract your compass reading to get your reading to navigate correctly on the map. Again, I'll get into that at a later time. Last, you have the information about the map. Here, this map was um, produced uh, by the United States Geological Survey in 1989, and it was revised in 1998. It also gives you some other information there as well. And there you have it, the um, topographical map, the overview of this of a topo map and what you need to know and understand. Basically, the legend on the bottom here is the important part of the map. If you understand that, you'll understand a topographical map. There you have it, a basic overview of the topo map. Uh, there's a lot of other things that I could have went over, but those are the basics that you need to understand. The legend is the most important thing on the topo map. I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you gave you a little insight uh, on topo maps. And I'm going to be building from these videos one upon another uh, and getting into more advanced skills. So I hope you follow along uh, in my video series here on land navigation. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you uh, click on the bottom there on that icon, uh, the American Backpacker logo, you'll be able to subscribe to my channel. Please check out my webpage, theamericanbackpacker.tv. And also uh, check out my Facebook page. I think all three will give you uh, lots of information that will help you in your next wilderness backpacking trip. This is Andy with the American Backpacker. Thank you for watching.